G O B. Welcome to another GOB course vlog video. I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here at Salt Fork in Ohio, Midwest. Feel the sweetness. Here for part two of this GOB course vlog, uh, holes 10 through 18. Uh, if you haven't already checked out part one, go give it a look. Uh, let's just jump right to that first tee. Here we go, hole 10, par four. And a big dog leg left to right, back down towards the entrance of the golf course. Play my natural cut, left to right here. And the only unfortunate part about this shot is I roll out in the rough. Again, no big deal, in play. Have a short iron up to the green. It's a little bit heavy, it's just my natural swing. Unfortunately, this green tree, everything slopes right to left, back to front, and literally this ball almost rolled back off the green. Taking a best of mine, trying to get the ball up to the hole, beat that goal. And I have a little tap in here for a bogey. Happy to start out that way on this first hole. Here we enter hole 11, par 5, the first of two back to back par 5s here. And uh, hole goes right to left, so I just try to play an aggressive line, let that big dog eat, clear the tree line here, leaving me a decent shot into the green. Now, not knowing what's up in front of me, I just try to hit a controlled five wood, and that's exactly what happens here. Again, never playing salt court before, just trying to play a little bit cautious. Uh, leave my approach with a nine iron, and just unfortunately, I clip the top of this tree and it falls short into the rough that guards the front of this green. The rough just turns my club face open and just I spray it to the right. And you'll notice on a lot of these greens, uh, back to front, they're sloped. Here I am just trying to lag one in here, trying to will it to stay on the green. I do. So I'll just jump up here and tap in my bogey putt. Good score for an amateur. Hole 12, par 5, the second of the two par 5s here on the back side. I'm just, goes left to right here, and I'm just, again, let that big dog eat. And I play a, probably one of my best drives here. Unfortunately, it gets a bounce out into the rough on the right, but I clear the trees far enough so I can just, again, attack aggressively. And that's what I do here with my 7 wood. I get left, almost go out of bounds. Didn't realize there was out of bounds here, so I just have to punch back to the middle smart. This is a tiered green and I think I'll make it up to the middle of the tier. Leave myself another long par putt which in turn you know, just leads right to a bogey putt. And again, no real complaints from amateur playing bogey golf. Alright, right into hole 13 par 4 right to left. Challenging hole because just have to hit a controlled shot here to the center and as you'll see I accomplish that first goal and that just leaves you a long uphill down sloped second shot which I then push almost to the front of the bunker and it just sort of does a little roll around between the car path and the bunker which I'm okay with get my chip shot a little chunky thankfully it released another uphill putt for a par the right. Tap in for another bogey. Moving right along, hole 14, par 4. This is one of the shorter holes here. You just want to challenge up that right side because that's where the green is. Dog leg left to right. And again, I really put a good hit on it here and it releases out to the right. Unfortunate, the amateur side of me tops are better in chunks. Rolls almost out onto the green as I got my club loose there, but Unfortunately, on this upslope, I chip it out to the left, not intentionally, but just mistakes. But here we just leave ourselves another par putt, just uh, cannot get one to drop. So there's a theme here of uh, just these little tap in bogeys, which uh, again, no complaints as an amateur. Moving on. All right, the first of the par threes on the backside, hole 15, par three, bunkers left and right, out of bounds left. Just try to keep one in the center. And again, I meet that 
go a little bit short, but that's okay. Just try to approach my chip shot as this green breaks off right to left. As that pin is way up on the upslope. Again, I just never really got it back to the hole. Again, approaching with another par putt, and I uh, just the story and a lot of two putts today but as an amateur you can never complain about bogeys and that's just another one right in line right here all right hole 16 par 4 tree lined narrow and just making our run back towards the clubhouse here big drive Getting a little bit of a tick off in the tree line but it came back to the middle so no real complaints probably a good upslope more than 45 degrees and not knowing what's up here I almost land in this bunker and it sort of sneaks around to the top side thankfully I stayed out but again these greens back to front sloped this ball didn't really run off the green and I just uh, like one right up back to the hole guess what another two putt no real complaints bogey golf is good all right hole 17 par 3 Definitely one of the hardest holes on the course because there's just no place to miss left or right. And I just tried to use that little runway right in front of the green. Unfortunately, just came a little bit short, but again, no real complaints if you're coming up short because you're in play. Played my pro shot. Got to the other side of the hole and again, just missed my thumbbacker. Another lip out. And uh, just another bogey, just another two putt. No real complaints. And finally, hole 18, par 4, right back up towards the clubhouse. Just a short par 4, but got a grip and rip. After what I do, let myself out here into a perfect position. Just a light wedge in my hand here to approach. Up slope, uphill. A little chunky, and I left it a little bit right. I think one of the only mental mistakes I made was trying to put this one off the fringe. I'm upset with myself on that shot for sure. But a little bit par. And another two foot for a bogey. That's the story of the day. Bogey golf. So uh, this finishes up part two of this GOB course vlog here at Salt Fork in Ohio. Played uh, some good golf, but uh, just bogey golf, which is okay for an amateur style. But if you enjoyed this golf content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, comment down below. What's your favorite golf course out there? Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Do you want to know?